After 14 years of facilitating child abuse, Omegle officially shut down on November 8th. Before that, people could use Omegle to communicate with strangers from different ethnicities without physical risk. However, this ease of communication also enabled online predators to link with unsuspecting children, ultimately leading to the demise of this chatting platform. Its misuse forced the founder to end all operations ultimately. And since November 8th, 2023, no one has been able to use Omegle. You'll only find a statement from the company's founder on its website stating, quote, as much as I wish circumstances were different, the stress and expense of this site are simply too much. This move from Omegle's founder put some parents at ease. However, the fight against online predators did not end with Omegle. Instead, predators moved toward Omegle Lite platforms to continue targeting children. Are there any apps like Omegle? Yes. With Omegle shut down, many Omegle-like apps have improved their services to accommodate a new influx of users. Monkey, Aha, and Hala are among the most prominent apps that fall into the category of Omegle-like platforms. Monkey. After Omegle's termination, many people flocked to Monkey, a random video chat app because it declared itself their new Omegle. This online chat platform targets people in their 20s and their 30s. Monkey app is free on the Google Play and Apple App Store. Azar. This is an application for people who wish to interact with strangers nationwide. You can download this application for free on iOS and Android devices. The thing about Azar is that you'll get really fantastic background and filters to kind of keep the on online conversations interesting. You can create a friend list to add people that you want to keep into your circle. And then there's AHA. Okay, this is an application that accommodates people from different backgrounds. Whether you want to learn about a new culture or interact with strangers, it offers an opportunity for, you know, people who might be socially anxious to interact. Moreover, it's free to download on uh, Android and iPhone devices. Okay, so these were some of the Omegle-like apps that you could choose to use to interact with new people. However, it still helps to be cautious of predators because anyone can make a fake account and join your chat room. The use of Omegle like apps can put children at harm because here's some common issues that can come up and parents should notice. Number one, online predators. Online predators are absolutely abundantly present and they specifically target young children. It's pretty easy for these predators to connect with an unsuspecting child and gaslight them into becoming their friend. And then from there, they can groom your children or ask them for inappropriate photos. Now, this is one of the most frightening situations for parents who don't monitor their kids online. Okay, number two, inappropriate content. Okay, even if you are not worried about online predators, and let's say you think your kid's smart enough to navigate that issue, they can still be exposed to inappropriate content. You can't regulate what strangers in the chat room choose to show your kids. So parents should really keep their kids away from such platforms to maintain their innocence. All right, number three, unregulated website links. Okay, the chat rooms do not filter out website links in the text chat. So it is straightforward for people to just target young children by getting them to click on unregulated website links. All they have to do is appear friendly and then they trick them into clicking the malicious links. They can compromise online security. They can affect sensitive data on the target device. Number four, cyberbullying. Ah, oh, if your kid is already socially anxious, they can be targeted by cyber bullies. These bullies target young children to break their confidence for fun. There are no voice chat filters that block profanity on these. So even if your kid can skip the matches, cyber bullies can still affect them. Number five, extracting personal data. Okay, the security concerns expand beyond the digital realm. Video calls can capture faces for more personal information really easily. And from there, it's easy for predators to abuse your kids and groom them. You can only avoid this situation by monitoring your kids' online activities. Number six, catfishing. 
Lastly, kids, uh, they're much more susceptible to catfishing. Even if you set up all the preferences correctly for the chat room, predators can easily target these children. There are a ton of video filters and catfishing tools on the internet that help facilitate these predator situations. So these are some of the concerns that really worry parents nationwide. Luckily, parental controls can be a great assistant in helping you to keep your kids safe. Even if you're, let's say, technically illiterate, using a parental control app can help you protect your children. You can use options like FamilySafe to link your device with your kid's phone. And then from there, FamilySafe will help you to directly block applications and malicious websites from the phones. Moreover, you're gonna have the option to monitor their notifications and then filter the content. It might take a little while to set up the kid's device, but you're never gonna have to worry about your kid's online security. So test out our parental control app to protect your kids from online predators. You can find the link in the description. In addition to using parental control apps, it is also essential to educate your kids about the potential risks of using chat platforms. Have an honest conversation with them about how these platforms can target young children. It's better to have a difficult conversation with your child than to put them at risk of encountering online predators. There is no debate that Omegle-like apps can be a great place to hang out, meet new people online. However, the cons of these platforms far outweigh the benefits. There is no point in having a website where online predators can target young children. Even after Omegle shut down, a ton of Omegle-like apps have joined the market with similar platforms. So parents have to stay on their toes to keep their kids away from these kinds of problems. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please like and follow our channel. And don't forget to leave a comment and we'll see you in the next one.